we're yes. going we're going to the big dance. I need a surprise in my bracket <laughs> when I do my March Madness bracket. The one team that's going to like. It'll you know? be great if San Jose State makes it. Good <laughs> luck to the Spartans. <laughs> Jessica Geary joins us now with what's coming up next. Well, right now at six, an NBC Barry exclusive. Bart's outgoing Inspector General sits down with our investigative unit for a one-on-one -on -one interview. The reason she says Bart is failing riders. I am trying to be as professional as I can, but it's been it's a challenge. Also, what's the deal? It's cold in the classroom. The problem causing students to wear big jackets while learning at San Francisco City College. The news at six starts right now. Good evening and thanks for being with us on this Wednesday. I'm Raj Mathai and I'm Jessica Aguirre. We begin tonight with an NBC Bay Area exclusive. Bart's first ever independent watchdog is stepping down. Bart's inspector general says she resigned because the agency has failed to give her the resources that she needs. On top of that, she says leaders at Bart have repeatedly tried to interfere with her ability to investigate the agency and its multi billion dollar budget. Our senior investigative reporter sat down with Harriet Richardson today for an exclusive story of what she's faced trying to help clean up BART. Pending dollars. Tonight at 7 o'clock, national security concerns over TikTok. What the FBI director said today that confirms the concerns about the Chinese based social media app will break down if a nationwide ban is possible, essentially banning TikTok. That story and more coming up on our 7 o'clock newscast. Up next on Lightly News on International Women's Day, Molly Hunter catches up with members of an all-girls Afghani robotics team. They fled to Doha when the Taliban took over, and now they're trying to inspire and help girls still in Afghanistan. Lester Holt joins us from New York right now. Tonight, the scathing report finding unlawful discrimination within a major U.S. city's police.